Hello, my name is Jack and welcome back to part two. Uh, in lesson one, we assembled our, our three pieces here to make the base board and we have our centre line marked here. So to carry on with the next stage uh, is the actual phone stand or holder. We need two more pieces here and uh, to get that there, if you put it up there with a, on a square piece, it's not going to be very practical. So we need to get an angle marked on that there. Um, we can't use 45 because it's going to be too much. So we have no actual tool to mark uh, a, a separate angle. So what I, I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and mark it that way. But you can see there, it's not high enough. So I'm going to use the base piece here, which is 18 mil high. I'm going to put that up against it, pick my desired angle and run your pencil across it like that and make sure you have it marked completely. So now we have a new angle mark on it. You actually square that up here, so you would, the same as I'm going to do on in lesson one with the 45. And uh, just because that's not a 45 or a square cut, there's no difference. It's the very same thing in doing that angle of any angle. So it's the very same process as I done earlier. Okay, so I have this pre-cut here. That needs to go on to that piece there as a stand. So what you do here, uh, I have it pre-drilled. And I'm just going to put some glue on that edge there as well. Rub the glue in. That's just to make sure that all the surface is covered. And this is where we're using our two screws. So that just goes in there. And we can use a battery. Or we can use a hand Okay. So whether you have or have a battery screwdriver, you're still not limited. You can still do it by hand. It's the very same thing. Okay, that's perfect. Now we understand. So now, as I've marked here, our four, our centers, our center faces to get a center point, I'm doing the very same here on this. So we have two center lines there: the base stand and the phone stand, and that's going to give me positioning points here. So now. Uh, I'm going to also need a, a hole here for a bolt, so you get halfway between there and there, and the centre line, and you mark a hole there. I'm going to drill our three mil hole down to that first, straight down. I like to use the waist piece underneath rather than going straight into your bench, okay? And now, the marks I put on early on is going to come into play now because I'm going to line up my four points on this block here with the four lines here, give me the centre position. Okay, and you can see that there now, there is lined up there now, you can see that mark is lined up there, and it lined up there, there and there. So that's my exact position. So now I'm just gonna drill down straight through there, straight through the piece. That's with my three mil bit, okay? That's gone straight through. Just change that bit now because I need a five mil in that next. But first of all, to, for this to, to take a bolt, we're going to have to put the nut part into this part here and make sure it's countersunk. Countersunk means that it has to be flush up into the timber that is not for sure now past, or else it will mark the, the arm of your chair or something like okay? So this is what the 12 mil bit is for. So I'm just going to um, into that there a second. Just going to a small bit. So just into the small bit. To make sure that the nut fits into it. So that needs to go a fraction deeper. Okay, that's going to be perfect. And we're also going to need the very same process here on the top to take. Of the boat, okay. So you just dab it and take it there, it's not to go too deep, that's okay. Seems perfect. Now, because I have the three mil hole here, it's not going to be big enough for the bar of the of the boat, so I need to make that hole a five mil bit now, right? Five mil bit. So straight down to there and down to there. Okay. Now, 
Now we're ready for assembly. No, we're not. One other thing after that. Oh, sorry. I need to bring those two little dowels. Um, looking at this here, the reason for the dowels is that we can allow for a charging cable to come through, okay? You can see that there. So I reckon about 30 mil up will do plenty. And um, I'll come in about 30 there to match the phone. 30 mil. Just check it there. Yeah, I come in 30 there. So I'm going to go up 30 and in 30 and mark the point. The same there and there. This is where we're going to use our 8 mil drill bit. Okay. Okay. Now, last thing to do, we don't want our dowel to go through the back of it. So, what I've done here is I've got a waste piece of timber and I drilled an 8 mil hole through it. And when I put that up against that there, I can see the drill bit won't go the whole way through it. So it's actually, it's a, it's a stop. It's a stop for five years. So there's no reason why you can, if you can see that now, when the, when the down, down tight, that piece spins down there. See that? That's actually a depth stop for you. I'm just doing the two of them there. Yeah. It's clean at the back also, okay? Now, you just need to put some small, small bit of glue, stop of glue into each of the holes. Okay. And get your hammer. Now, put it on top of that there if you want, because, see the there? You're going to put pressure on that there, so it's better off to keep up there on a level surface like that. If you can see, and just tap in your dowel. Tap in your dowel. And now get your damp cloth and clean off the excess glue. Okay. That's fine there. So now last thing to do now is just to uh, 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 attach both pieces together. First of all, we need to get the nut part fixed into that there already. Okay. I've left it on the bar or the bolt just just for grips purposes. Just your nut, take off your washers, and it's, that's below the surface, that's counter shown nicely into the wood there, okay, so that's not going to mark your arm or your chair or anything like that. Now, I'm going to use two washers here, you can get away with one washer if you want, but I'm going to use two, so you're putting them on top of one another there, over the hole where you've pre-bored there, and a bolt can go down through there, oh, there and over both our washers and we just that should be meeting up with our nut that's counter shown when I meet and we just tighten up. You can tighten as much as you want. I don't think going on. So now you can see there we're off the surface there because we have our washers in there and it's going to slip all you want. So now the next stage then is to, um, that's a finished bar, we just have to give it a, a touch of sandpaper. Just up the edges, and I always reckon you use a block of timber there and some sandpaper. And knock off the hard edges here. So when you paint it, it's going to look smoother to the, smoother to grip it. Okay, so that's your, um, that's your stand completed. So now just to show you on the finished one here. You can see the advantage of putting in the two little studs here for the, the charging cable. And um, I'm just bring it over to our couch, you know. Take off that so we do that. Like that. This, is, uh, this is the chair that I would measure at the start. So it sits in there nicely in my iPad. And you can turn it at whatever angle you wish. And there you go. So um, that's it. That's how to make. Um, mobile phone stand that swivels. Um, I hope you get some satisfaction out of trying it yourself and uh, hope you found it useful. And thank you very much for watching.